welcome to the Weekend Zone. I'm Britt Johnson. I'm here with Matt Demecki and Chris Clark, um, who actually left me out last week. Thanks, guys. What happened there? You didn't show up. You guys, we had to do the this schedule show. said we were shooting it at a certain time, and you guys wanted to change the time we shot it because they're trying to kick me out of here. Don't let this happen. Dang. Don't let that, this happen. All right. All conspiracy. But we were that just talking about true. summer. Um, Songs. What's your what's your oh. go-to this summer? Oh, my in my in my, in my feelings in my feelings right there. You wanted That's to get it. up and do the no, 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 I can't. Do I can't it, do it right now. No, do no, it. No, no, I gotta wait till I'm in the car and actually do the video the right way. Okay, I do can't it be doing it here. before we like post this. And then I got you. I got you. So I get a clip. I got you. Yes, 100%. Chris? Oh, I'm still, I, honestly, I'm still on Kanye and Kid Cudi. I'm still, oh, I'm uh, I can't listen to Kanye West. I can't. You can't? What? No. What? No. Nah, I, I can't. I, I never, I haven't listened to one song. Ever? No, not like since he said that. Okay, um, just make it sure. This whole thing, you know. Got you. I got you. I know what you're talking <laughs> but, about. But um, J Rock, hello. I love okay, I like J Rock. I, I like J Rock. J-Rock. I was impressed. But yeah, 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 yeah. I like J Rock. Okay, a lot of music, um, man. Well, a lot of music. We're gonna see if somebody else can impress us this year, and that is LeBron James. Oh, he just joined the Lakers. We all know. And that's Mackie. <laughs> How was his pizza party? <laughs> hey, it was dope. I got free pizza, but I mean, the man didn't show up because he was on a stupid little donut <laughs> floaty. Donut, man. <laughs> I could not believe it that. I walked out of there so goddamn like mad. Pizza float, oh, you know? oh, that would have been, oh, oh, been awesome. That would have been great. I was pissed. Um, well, who do you guys think is going to be able to help LeBron the most this season with the Lakers? Lonzo Ball. Do I have to continue? Uh, or do yeah, you go, for <laughs> go for it. Go for it. Lonzo Ball. I, I, I feel like they're both going to benefit from each other this season. I, I think that, you know, people are overblowing this whole Rondo thing. I, I watched Rondo's conversation, and even he is he, he even said that he's fine coming off the bench if that's what they decide to do. He just wants to be on a team where they'll be competing for a it's championship. It's so funny because Rondo respect. was like one of the Celtics that's, that that's like, the he hated LeBron, LeBron too. Yeah. 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 I thought he would never be on the same team as LeBron. I don't care if it was Lakers. Yeah. I, I thought he would never join up with LeBron. Yeah, same with Lance. Too. But I, I just feel like Lonzo Ball is going to be, because LeBron finally has a, a ball handling you know decision making point guard for probably the first time in his career yeah and so i feel like that'll help him be able to do more post stuff more out off the ball things and i feel and then we're gonna see lebron i feel like i read past. a quote that lavar ball said and you just like repeated it right now because me and, Le- <laughs> me and lavar on the same <laughs> wavelength cool, yeah. me and lavar on the same wavelength i don't know what to say I'm about like, that this already. i <laughs> didn't know that hey Oh, honestly, Never lost. honestly, I think it's going to be Brandon Ingram. Just the fact that, like, now that Brandon Ingram doesn't have to create his own shot anymore, yeah. LeBron's going to be the one that's going to be facilitating it to him. There's a million like, people that facilitate it. Yeah, man. And, like, we got to remember, like, Brandon Ingram is only, like, four months older than Mo Bamba. And Mo Bamba just got drafted Mama, this year. Mo Bamba. There you go. Is he even older than Lonzo? <laughs> and he's been in the league three years? Yeah. Is he older than Lonzo, though? He's older like, than Lonzo. Barely. Like a couple months. Yeah. That's you know? crazy. And, and the fact that, that's like, crazy. his points jumped up from year one to year two, and now that he has LeBron, yeah. It's a wrap. Like, I, I think Brandon Ingram is going to probably average 19-20. I'm just worried he's going to get lost in the sauce with all the forwards they got, but I could see that possibly being yeah. a thing. Yeah, he's going to benefit the most. Honestly. So, the Lakers are in a five-year playoff drought. Last time they went to the playoffs was 2012-2013 yeah. season. They lost in the first round got to the swept. Spurs, got swept. <laughs> Where do you see them going in the playoffs this year? And don't you dare say the Western Conference. They're playoffs. going to the finals. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I, I, I think... I don't know. Honestly, I feel like they could get to, I'm not saying they're going to get to the finals, but I think they could get to the Western Conference Finals. I think, yeah. I think it's very possible. I don't think that's far-fetched. The Rockets yeah. backtrack. The yeah. Thunder didn't do anything. The Nuggets are probably going to move. I, I just, uh, what's it called? The Pelicans got weak. Blazers aren't anything. I just, it's just to me, it just, I feel like they're, they can yeah. easily be top three in the. No, I, I agree with that. that. Like, I, I had legit think. What were they yeah. this last year? 11, they were number 11. 11, yeah. Finished yeah. in the West. Yeah. And they're going to go all the way to number three seed. They were 35 yeah. wins. LeBron James is easily going to give him, what, 15 plus games. Look what he did with Cleveland when he came back the first time. Cleveland was a 31 team. He came back, took them to the finals. I'm still going to enjoy them losing. But that is the Eastern Conference. That's a lot different. But, okay, check this out. Like, it's legit the Warriors and everybody else. Because the West, like, yeah, it's tough. But at the same time, like, I feel like we're overblowing that. Like you said, like, the Rockets got worse. They got worse. Oklahoma City, they they didn't get any better. They just re-signed Paul George. Yeah, their defense might be a little bit better. But to me, it didn't do enough. Exactly. Portland. T-Wolves are a mess on and off the court. They're just imploding. 
you know, yeah, like you said, Portland didn't do it. I, to yeah. me, I just feel like it's open. And when you have the best player in the game, it that's that's and hard it to can happen. And I hate, I hate saying this. I'm not, I'm not a Laker fan, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll we'll change it up a little bit. Let's talk about Melo. Where do you guys think oh. he can play next year? Oh. Do it. No, 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 no. I, I, I like the Thunder. I like the Thunder. Whoa. I like the Rockets. I like the Rockets from because like they A, they're desperate, and B, he'll still get to be happy and start. Um I, I'm one of those people that I don't feel like he's washed yet. I think we were just talking about that talking before. About, yeah. I don't think he's washed. I think he's gone through the Russell Westbrook spin cycle like Vic Old Depot did. Mm -hmm. Like we saw, you know, Durant had some seasons. Like we, we, we've seen this with players that have played with Russell Westbrook where their game Kevin dropped Durant off. Kevin yeah. Durant won an NBA MVP okay. with Russell Westbrook, okay? So okay, don't, don't but at the same time, Russell though. Westbrook, like he's, he tries really hard. I'm not, okay? I love Westbrook, but I'm just oh. saying that there's that some players cannot play, especially <laughs> when you're a scorer like that, some players can't play with Westbrook. And I feel like yeah. Melo was one of those guys. And I don't want to bring up my name. I feel but, like Melo but, can't play with Melo right now. Like I really do. Like I just. I need one I more season before I can say I that. I'm still. I'm still team Melo. So I, I don't. Know, maybe I am years. saying he. I don't think he's washed. I just think he's. He's like, getting there. I, I think I'm not there yet. I mean, I think it's a, a mental thing. It's in his head, kind of. But I just think. Well, you got he, Lala back. He's his yeah. own worst enemy. I think. Yeah. No, and that's the thing. Like I, I would that's love a, for Melo to go to the Rockets just to have a chance to win a championship because you know yeah. they would probably be like a number one to number three seed. But the problem is like. The Rockets lost so much defense. Yeah. Oh, wait, they're going to get that from Melo? Melo's no, offensive score. No, but they, they're, they're, they're lost. Be, All of them are gone. They're, they're, they picked up James Anderson. Yeah. That was a, a headline. Yeah, they lost Trevor Le uh, Reza. Uh, yeah. uh, and it sucks. Like, so I don't they think they're going to well get defense just, from him. So They might as well just go firepower, man. Well, yeah, speaking that's of they defense, got. let's talk about <laughs> one of the best defenders in the game, Kawhi Leonard. Oh, boy. Um, he, yeah. we, we, we've heard a lot about Kawhi this season, yeah, and most yeah. of it hasn't been great. No. Um, do you guys think that he's being a diva about this whole situation? In a way, yes. I feel like that, and I love Kawhi, and I hate, I hate saying this about him, but like the fact that, yeah, you say, okay, I want to get traded to the Lakers. He said that in the beginning. And now LeBron came, and there were reports that saying, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to play second field with LeBron. I want to go to the Clippers. But the thing is, it's like you wanted to leave like for that. a better hey, team. Why don't like you just that, stay with the, the Spurs? Kawhi. Personally, I like that if he goes to the Clippers. Yeah, Kawhi, Patrick Beverly. But Sorry, what I'm are you sorry, man. With the Clippers? Because I, I want, because <laughs> we, the more power out here, the better. I want. I'm tired of seeing the Clippers be the, the little brother. I want the Lakers to <laughs> have somebody to stand uh -huh. up for them. Just because I'm here talking good stuff about the Lakers, I hate the Lakers. So to see the Clippers but, rise again, that would be I'm great for me. Right, but here's my problem. Why are you saying you want to be the man, and then when LeBron comes, you're like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to go over there. No, I'd it's rather very wishy-washy. I agree with you on that. But that's I'm just the saying only thing I with would that. Like but also though, the Spurs organization too is making him look like a diva. 100%. Also, because they're saying, oh, we're not giving you away. We're gonna keep you here. So that's why we keep hearing his name. Yeah. Like Kyrie got traded like that. Yeah. That's why nobody had a problem with it. Yeah. So the fact that they keep dragging this thing on, it, it's a little bit of both sides. But yeah, Kawhi's being a diva. Yeah, I wonder what the Spurs, like, what their end goal is here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, like, it's clear after next season he's not going to be there. They yeah. have to pay him $21 million this season. Um, they've been paying him the last couple seasons, and he hasn't really been playing. You know what While I mean? While, quote, like, quote, yeah. being healthy. Right. Yeah. So it's, like, what wh what are you trying to get out of this? No like, one's winning Because after this year, he's not going to stay there, so trade him. Get some. Get, get rid of him. They're going like, to make the pettiest trade, Because it's, trade, like, literally the, that locker room right now is so toxic. I've... Yeah. with other guys that play with, for the Spurs and they've you know experienced wanting to be traded during mm -hmm. the season just yeah. because the energy in there is not good like who I mean technically who wouldn't want to play for pop he's amazing but the energy in that locker room is so bad right so now terrible. players yeah. want are trying to and leave and that it. has yeah. never happened under like you know pop being like a coach yeah. you know like, we saw never Tony Parker yeah. leave and like those yeah. kind of players leaving that that organization is like telling you a lot like for someone like Tony Parker to go it's yeah. like Right. And the That's fact he went to the right Hornets point. too. Yeah. He's like, I, I just want to get the hell out could've of here. Could have come yeah. to the Knicks, just man. Give me a Frankie Lakina could have been your protege, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah, that. but I, I mean, I feel like the Spurs are gonna make the most pettiest trade for Kawhi. Yeah, just so the they deadline. don't give him to the Lakers at the, at the deadline. Yeah, it, it's gonna be Same like to like the Pacers or something. Yeah, or Portland for like CJ yeah. McCollum and a pick. Cold, like, yeah. Cold. Maybe, yeah. Well, I was yesterday, to or this yeah. week I was talking about, because obviously we know Jimmy Butler doesn't want to play in Minnesota. Kawhi doesn't want to play in the Spurs. Maybe make a trade. Set with something like that, you know, because 
I mean, Minnesota has a lot of young players, you know, yeah. so they can make a couple trades yeah. and get yeah, quiet. Yeah, but that interferes with my trade. Okay, so. sorry. It's, it's all right. about Chris. Yeah, I didn't know. Sorry. I didn't know. I'm not a fan of that It's one. hard, too, because he's a free agent <laughs> next season. So yeah. it's like you're going to get him for a one-year rental and you got to give away pieces? Yeah. And That's going to be unfortunately tough. Unfortunately for the Western Conference right now, everyone knows they're not going to win this year. So it's just like, <laughs> what am I really doing all these trades? Yeah. When at the end of the day, like, it, I'm not going to win this year anyway. Yeah. So getting yeah. a one good player for one year doesn't yeah. matter to them, no. you yeah. know? Future draft picks. Maybe. Come to the Lakers Nope, next go year, to the Clips, Kawhi. Go ahead, man. All right. Oh um, moving on to my favorite part of the show, honorable mentions. Let's start with Chris Clark today. You want to start with mine? Oh, my, mine had me cracking up. I don't know if you guys saw it on Twitter. Poor Gordon Hayward already has two girls. And, you know, just like any NBA player, you're, you're a guy. You know, you want your son. You want your son that can carry on the name and go to the NBA. Well, um, <clears throat> he was expecting and hoping to have a boy. And uh, they had their little gender reveal him a wifey. And um, here's the result. Okay, ready? Say, Daddy, can you help me? Help me. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Whoa! Ah. It's a girl! Ah. Ah. <laughs> Whoa! You want a girl? Brittany, you were right. <laughs> Is Daddy happy? Daddy's always happy. My thing is like you just you don't you you know you're gonna be on the internet you know yeah. people are gonna no, see this that. like I get that and he tried so hard to, uh, I I was cracking up I, I felt you man That's I'm sorry funny. I'll be okay. in the same situation I would be hell if I'm Kobe yeah. I'm reaching out like man I, trust I me feel I, you. I get it man I get it <laughs> That's funny. all right we're gonna go with mine so Dante Divincenzo so his newest Milwaukee teammate posted this picture of him with his bank account information and he has. Three dollars and seventy-one cents in that damn account. I mean, by now Relatable. it's probably you know, it's probably a negative. You yeah, know, by yeah, the time yeah. this actually yeah. ends, I mean, you can't even afford a cheeseburger and fries from McDonald's. You, you like, can't. I never thought I could say this, but I have something in common with an NBA player. Chris. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but donate this to him. So, this is yeah. so weird to me, though, because yeah. agents give the players money, and it's like. Yeah. Okay, you have this money, and if you don't end up signing with me, you have to give the money back. But they give the players, like, mm -hmm. I, I know players that get, like, $150,000, like, leading yeah. up to the draft yep. to, like, yeah. live off of. So I'm so confused. Like, who is taking man care of this took man? took advantage, like, man. <laughs> I mean, he going to be getting paid $2 million next year, so well, that, that direct deposit is about to hit. he needs to learn how to manage that money. Yeah, though, for real. <laughs> Three dollars? Uh, like I'm not, I'm not judging, man. I'm not judging. You got at no all. side hustle, no Uber. Come on, man. Right, right. You and man gotta get a side hustle that going would be on. The story. Come on, man. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Well, mine is for your guys or your favorites, uh, LeBron James. Um, who knew the man couldn't do a squat? Check this out. <laughs> work like this inner thigh is that like he's is working this a muscle that we don't squat like, though like that. i don't know well it must be a new workout because that's not that is not a squat yeah, i don't right. know what it's called but that's not called a squat and i can't imagine him not knowing how to squat <laughs> no and the dude in the back too if you see him in the back yeah, corner yeah. over there <laughs> the i was like oh, wait God. this dude looked like somebody just like he got him off the street he's not a trainer <laughs> that's him to do fake squats that's so right, like come on you're man. doing it right lebron yeah Oh my Maybe God. that's why he didn't show up to your pizza thing because he pulled something while he was trying to do that weak squat. <laughs> oh my God. And then had to soak it in the in the pool. In the pool, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It all With makes sense. Yeah, this sit on a donut, <laughs> you know? <laughs> It happens. Don't be mad, Laker fans. <laughs> I'm pissed right, at LeBron guys. for the week. Well, that That's is going to do it for Weekend Zone. I'm Britt Johnson. Matt to Mikey, Chris Clark. We'll see you guys next time.